Local issues in the media have been around since the invention of cinema. At the end of the 19th century, Sagar Mitchell and James Kenyon travelled across the country with a movie camera, recording day-to-day -day life within the small communities that populated the countryside. Instead of hiding away from the new medium, people flocked around the camera out of sheer fascination. Mitchell and Kenyon travelled under the slogan, Local Films for Local People. On the 27th of November, 1897, the first recorded screening of one of Mitchell and Kenyon's films took place in Blackburn. People instantly took to this new phenomenon. On a short boat trip from the mainland, there is a small network that wishes to buck the trend. Solent TV, situated in Newport on the Isle of Wight, broadcasts to the people of the island with their own brand of programming. Solent TV is the first wholly independent local channel in the UK. Solent TV's director, Simon Clark, explains about the people behind this unique project. Solent TV was created in early 2002 um, when uh, island volunteers saw that the uh, TV12 licence was coming up for an end and thought that they could do a better job. And I like to think it's proved that they've done a better job. Um, and it was Linda Rovnik and Phil Truckle. Uh, Paul Topping and myself came up with what Solar TV should be, following the Island Volunteers Group guidelines of you know, how a community business should be within the community. We arise from our sleep. What do we see? Fiery veins shooting across our vision. It captures our interest. So unusual, yet so natural. Red, the color of fire, burning deep inside our mind, manipulating our consciousness, enticing us to do things for ourselves, and ourselves alone. No other color is as keen to catch your eye. When red is in view, green and blue go unnoticed too bland, too normal. Red, on the other hand, is anything but normal. It dominates the scenery no matter where I look. Red is infinite. From the colorings of animals to the remains of a massive supernova, red is everywhere. However, it is not eternal. Red is quickly spent no matter where it resides. In the cool air of autumn, leaves quickly turn from a tranquil to an intense red. It inspires our imagination for a few moments before falling to an undignified end at your feet. Like the wonders of nature, red tempts others. The red mist that consumes our rationale. The red cloth that enrages the mighty bull. It dominates our emotional spectrum. <laughs> 